real judgy looks because I made the Jack in the Box girl cry. And she's bawling and she's saying, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but you know, it's fine. fine. And I would like to order a double Jack meal and I've kind of got somewhere to be, so maybe less with the crying and more with the frying, huh? And the girl apologizes again and she offers me a free churro with my meal. And as I'm leaving, I think, I just got a free churro because my mom died. No one ever tells you when your mom dies, you get a free churro. We understood each other in a way. Me and my mom and my dad, as screwed up as we all were, we did understand each other. My mother, she knew what it's like to feel your entire life like you're drowning, with the exception of these moments. These very rare brief instances in which you suddenly remember you can swim. Mostly you're drowning. She understood that too. And she recognized that I understood it. And Dad, all three of us were drowning and we didn't know how to save each other. But there was an understanding that we were all drowning together. Anyway, we did this one season finale where Olivia's birth mother comes to town. And she's a junkie, but she's got herself cleaned up and she wants to be in Olivia's life again. And of course, she's like a perfect grown-up version of Olivia. And they go to the mall together and get her ears pierced like she's always wanted. Sorry, spoiler alert for the season six finale of Horse It Around if you're still working your way through it. Anyway, the horse tries to warn him. Be careful. Moms have a way of letting you down. But Olivia just thinks the horse is jealous. And when the mom says she's moving to California, Olivia decides to go with her. And the network really juiced the cliffhanger. Is Olivia gone for good? But of course, because it's a TV show, she's not gone for good. Of course, because it's a TV show, Olivia's mother had a relapse and had to go back to rehab. So Olivia had to hitchhike all the way home, getting rides from Mr. T, Alf, and the cast of Stump. Of course that's what happened, because what are you going to do? Just not have Olivia on the show? You can't have happy endings in sitcoms. Not really, because if everyone's happy, the show would be over. And above all else, the show has to keep going. There's always more show. And you can call horsing around dumb or bad or unrealistic. But there's nothing more realistic than that. You never get a happy ending. You never get Because there's always more show. I guess until there isn't.
was so beautiful and sad. Dad hated the parties. He locked himself in the study and banged on the walls for us to keep it down. But he always came out to see Mom dance. He'd linger in the doorway, scotch in hand, and watch in awe as this cynical, despicable woman he married took flight. And as a child who was completely terrified of both my parents, I was always aware...